champions, Viva. Long live the spirit of positive narrative, long live. long live. Down, down, the spirit of despair and shame, down, down. down, down. Ah, now you got it. <laughs> you are very good students. So my name is Davis Malombe. I work for Kenya Marais Commission, but uh, I prefer saying I'm, I'm a servant of the people and a champion for human rights and democracy, because that's our calling I've been given during the last 20 years in our society. So I want to begin by saying congrats, Justice, for the very transformative, catalytic uh, online movement, which has brought hope and love and the familyhood to these uh, brothers and sisters. Um, I've heard the stories of our people and these are stories of uh, champions and winners and congress. Sinkwendi. Um, uh, I have done human rights work for almost 20 years, and I have been working along the most atrocious violations. And I got to a point where I became NAB. Do you know, there's a point you become NAB because every situation you handle is very gross and uh, it's very callous, so you become unmoved. But today the stories I've heard, and what I, I also read in the online platform, are really moving. But the kind of transformation and, and the kind of resilience of people have gone through is, is touching and amazing. Um, the story of Josephine, who has gone through a myriad of situations and uh, conundrums, and then she remains very, very strong. The dealing with HIV AIDS, uh, cancer, being homeless, dealing with also a child with issues, and yet she remains very, very strong. So this is a very powerful space which we need to nurture. And I just also want to say the kind of stories are mirroring, they also touch on structural problems of the country. So from the kind of work we do, we normally connect violations where there are patterns and trends. So some of the stories, most of the issues you are, you are talking about, they are not about you. It's also about how our society has completely failed us in terms of structure, policy, and the legal frameworks. And I want to say, KJC is very keen to exploring a partnership uh, with this great platform, <laughs> and also a partnership with these champions who have been nurtured by this kind of space. I was uh, convinced by one of the survivors who I, I think uh, said uh, she had moments of justice, as open to justice. And I said from KJC, that is where we belong. Yes. So, the Justice, KJC want to explore with you whether we can create a platform of shared moments of justice so that some of these complaints can be processed so that our people can be able to get remedies. It's not enough eh, to get therapy. From, from where we sit, eh, we look at things from the point of justice. So I've heard the way you have been able to overcome, which is very good. The way you have been able to move on, which is very good. The way you have been able to become strong, which is very good. But now, beyond that, you need what? Justice. You need justice. And the KJC does not get tired. Currently, we are dealing with violations which are paid in a deal that eight. Wow, wow. Yeah, we, we don't get tired. So we can go back as much as possible. That age, this is uh, the criminal uh, colonial violations which were done in, uh, in Machakos. You have had Mwindibigu Street. Mwindibigu was honored because he ran a big struggle in the 1930s. And that struggle uh, has never gotten justice. But the communists were able to fight and, and get the kind of, uh, you know, overcoming you're talking about. But they have never been able to get justice. So we want to explore that partnership with you. And also the story of Zisa. Um, I also deal with uh, other people who also face those kind of issues. I know like over 20 couples and friends who have been uh, married for a long time, they have been struggled with free broads, they don't have children, but they have no solution. So Zisa, I'll be looking for you, so that 
those solutions you got can also enable me to support many other people I deal with. Because we also have our own challenges in our social spheres. Up on the So I'm also here to also learn and also know how to get solutions around other struggles we face, which we have no capacity to handle. So to me, this is also a very good space. And therefore, we can be able to look at how some of those issues can be addressed through legal action, police action. And I think if God helps us, because now this looks like every year is going to be an anniversary, just as <laughs> KHRC will also explore a cost in this event. So that some of these burdens are removed from your shoulders. Yeah. You invest in uh, supporting and uh, strengthening our people. See the Yeah. So from where I sit, I'll also find ways of supporting you. And in case you need what we call institutional anchoring. You know, KHRC is that we say we are a premier human rights organization. So we support other emerging institutions to also stand on their own get reverence and get all manner of support. So in case you need any kind of uh, institutional anchoring uh, to expand your space, to expand your networks, uh, we are available for you. <laughs> we have been doing that for Comrade Sharon uh, within our foundation, and that helps to open doors for you. So in case you need more, we call it uh, institutional anchoring. So in case you need that, you can always talk to us and we'll be able to get you connections and the networks which can also help our people and also help also enable this initiative also grow big. So with those few remarks, I want to thank you for your, st uh, for your stamina and for your strength and also giving us this chance. This is not uh, spaces we normally operate in, eh? but we're happy uh, to be given this opportunity and we are going to remain very supportive, and we are going to be partnering with you. So I came with uh, Madame Damaris Bonareri. She's uh, my program officer in charge of uh, legal affairs and urgent action. There's another one who was about to join us, who is, who is also in charge of other forms of injustices. So our docket deals with the, she's the one who documents and responds to all the emerging human rights situations in the country. She does that by providing also legal support. She provides uh, communication support with, with other team members. And some of the cases we also take to court. Others we also refer uh, for therapy. So maybe you can just come and say just something uh, in one minute and then from there uh, we call it a day from our side. Wow, today has been a these stories are just, you know, they go deep, huh? mm. I, I, I listen to different stories every week, and some stories I have to travel to go hear them, because we have human rights violations throughout the country, and some we receive from outside the country. Like you say, we're a premier uh, NGO. We get from all over. But today, these ones are deep. These ones are really deep. And uh, we all understand that dignity is at the core of human rights. And what justice, justice has done, he has enabled so many to have dignity. You know, to just be respected and valued because you're a human being. Not because you have class, or because you have a title, but because you, have, you are a human being. So thank you, Justice. Thank you very much for doing that. And I'm happy Mukupa is here with me. You know, Nigi Wapate is all promises amungi amini. I give you Mukupa and Mr. Masindio. And it's going to happen. We will reach out to you, Justice. Thank you all. And in case there are any, from the stories that you get, we, we run a, a legal aid clinic where we give advice, and where legal action is needed, we do that. And as you say, the legal action is not the only strategy that we, fo we follow. There are so many other strategies that we do that may help. 
I hear some, there's a, the last speaker, she has spoken about uh, integration of uh, offenders into the society. We've been working with the National Council of Administrative Justice, I don't know if you know the NCAJ, and we look into such issues around criminal uh, uh, issues, criminal law, and everything else. And probably that's an issue that we need to focus more on. Thank you all. Asante Misana. Thank you to those who have been speaking. It takes courage. All the best as we go ahead. Thank you. We'll also work with you to learn how to document it better because there are cases she gets eh, which can also come to your, to your platform for also dissemination. So that's also, I also see that as a other space for partnership. So just to finish is we commit political support, we commit policy support, and uh, where God enables us, we can also provide the logistical and the financial support. Thank you so much for everything. We honor, respect, and salute you guys. You are very strong. You are amazing. You are phenomenal. <laughs>